Howdy folks, I'm Alan Butler with Butler Contracting, where we're doing simple better. Today, we're talking about fence pickets. Most commonly asked questions that we get are, should I use cedar or treated fence pickets? That's a fantastic question. And today, we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty between cedar and treated pickets. So, there's a couple things you should know when it comes to cedar and treated pickets when putting them on your fence. One, there are some different thicknesses to be aware of. Sometimes certain pickets are a 5 8 thickness. Some are a 3 quarter inch thick. A lot of times cedar comes standard in a 3 quarter inch. Treated can be purchased in 5 8 which is thinner, or 3 quarters, which is larger. Most big box suppliers in our area don't carry the uh, three quarter inch treated pickets, they only carry the five eighths ones. Five eighths pickets that are treated, they tend to buckle and bow a little bit easier. They tend to warp in the weather a little more versus a cedar picket. If you get a three quarter inch thick treated picket, they tend to last a little bit better. They're usually more locally sourced, at least in our area. They come from East Texas, so the woods are locally sourced and it's acclimated better to the weather environment and it's a thicker wood, so it's most likely not gonna warp as much. And then you have cedar. Cedar is a great hardwood, um, has a lot of longevity in the wood itself. So there are a few key distinct differences between treated and cedar. With treated wood, it's a product that's treated and it has chemicals and water and moisture um, that's used in that treatment process. And when that's done, that wood and lumber usually comes to the supplier wet. Now, when we install it and put it up, it's going to be moist and have some kind of moisture content in it. When we get done with that installation, that wood's going to slowly dry over a period of time after installation. While it's setting up vertical, gravity may or may not be our friend at some point. And we also have uh, the sun beating down on it, which is drying that chemical out. So sometimes we can see warping, or shifting or buckling of those treated pickets at times. Most of the time in a large fence project, it's only gonna be a few boards that are gonna be, you know, real noticeable, and those might need to be replaced, which is covered under our two-year warranty typically. Now, with cedar, um, it's a good hard wood. You know, there's some other key factors there as well. Uh, most all the cedar that we take out in the area at the bottoms, they usually wick up a lot of moisture kind of suck that moisture up from the ground and the grass like a straw and what happens is that it starts to rot out in the bottom and um, you start seeing carpenter ants and wood destroying insects move in uh, there's not been really any cedar fences that we've torn out in the area here in central texas that aren't infested with carpenter ants um, so one of the key factors when it comes to these two different types of wood is really about staining sealing and protecting them and also making sure there's some kind of ground clearance to allow for water and drainage and for air movement and airflow underneath the pickets of the fence so that way they stay kind of dried out. Um, so those are some distinct factors that you might see with treated, they could warp and buckle. Um, you can leave them a lot longer period of time without having to stain them versus cedar. Um, I would definitely recommend if you're putting a cedar fence in with, with cedar pickets that you get it stained you know, within the first few months of installation for sure. It's going to seal that wood, protect it long term, and you're going to get your, you know, you're going to protect your investment long term. The issue you have if you don't um, move forward with staining and sealing the cedar fence when you put it in, you're going to see breakdown in that product. It's going to split. It's going to crack. If you don't religiously continue to stain and seal it, you're going to start seeing those ants and those wood destroying insects move in, wood rot, discoloration of the fence is also going to take place. So you're going to see a lot of things that you wouldn't probably typically see with a treated fence. So there's pros, there's cons. Fencing pickets, whether it's treated, whether it's cedar, there's pros and cons to staining each option. Um, so you're just going to have to figure out which one works best for you. I'm Alan Butler with Butler Contracting, and we'll see you on your next project.